you 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 give a a box of crayon to a three year old they will start doing things which you never imagine they, they the color makes them to think so there's a creativity process starts with colors and same thing we do as a scientist today we don't play with crayons we play with periodic table so the creativity never stops my ambition was to become a movie star but my parents said it's better to get a college education before you think about movie i went to university and i came across a, a article in a book a short chapter on linus pauling i got attracted to that chapter because he was a chemist and he was also a peace activist so then i came to know that we have, we share the same birthday actually which is february 28th and then all these things came together and i said well i like chemistry why not i just pursue chemistry Sometimes you dream about things, it, it never comes true, but in my case, I think some of the dreams are working for DuPont. I stayed there for 22 years and published about 210 papers and about, filed about 60 patents. So I had a great career and then finally ended up in Oregon State University, where I consider as a land of Linus Pauling. It's the best thing ever happened to me. So I told my student Andrew Smith, who was my first student, to work on this project and then I asked him to take, uh, to choose these three elements, yttrium, indium and manganese and oxygen. But when he, when he did the experiment, I was in the lab and um, he was taking the sample out of the furnace from high temperature. I was shocked. Uh, that they, Those samples came out so blue. I never expected manganese oxides would be so blue. Uh, the publication came out and then uh, there was a small article in uh, Chemical Engineering News. Then New York Times called me and said, we, will, we want to know more about your blue discovery. The, the title of that article was, By Happy Accidents, Chemists Discover New Blue. Because I admitted, I was not looking for blue. This came out of the blue. <laughs> then it went viral. It, it, it probably covered in every magazine, every, uh, every newspaper. Uh, this discovery changed my life. Uh, in uh, many in many ways. So I, I always tell my students, you may not discover something you're looking for, you're going to discover something maybe you're not looking for. I, I say the research is a journey where the journey is more important than the destination. <laughs>